Alrighty guys, so getting ready here to kick off the next project after the the 53L there, which you guys still have not seen all the parts yet to date. Uh, this is December 28th. Pretty sure. Let me double check. Yes, December 28th. So, what we have here is this is a 1957 LI. You guys should be able to see most of the numbers there. Hopefully it'll focus, but yeah. You guys can actually see better than I can. It's an A6176 M2245. And it's an LI. So, backstory and history on this tracker. This tracker came from I actually bought four more machines after the Great Gravely Hall of 2012 in December. Um, was this machine the 49L, another 57LI, and what was the other machine that came from down there? Huh. 49... 257s. Hmm. Boy, I hate when stuff stumps me. Don't like that. The dead. Oh, that 56LI came from down there, too. Okay. I know which one. Because everything that came from down there, the transmissions were locked up on except the 49L. Okay, I remember it now. So, uh, basically, I got this tractor running. It was actually running pretty decent uh, in the video I have. And then, uh, probably about a week or two later, I don't remember exactly from that video, but basically I took it out back here and was mowing with it. It shut off in a cloud of smoke, and then I've never been able to get it to run since, but it would kind of pop, bang, and carry on. Uh, I tried belt starting it, and... So, the first thing I'm going to look at now of days, now that I know what is going on a little bit better than I used to, is I'm going to pull the mag off because, A, I, I know the points are going to be dirty, <laughs> and B, is I wonder if I didn't have mag issues back then, is all my problem was. But I think, and if this is the machine I'm thinking of, the points were worn super thin on this, and maybe even the contacts blew apart. You know, I don't know. Take it apart and see. Um, as far as making it a machine to use every day, it looks like I swiped the carb off of this machine at some point. Which I don't remember doing. Where did I put that carb to come off of here? I know I swiped the carb and the throttle linkage I had on it, which was a zip, or a, 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 a throttle cable just zip tied up here and I pulled it with my finger. Um, this thing's got moved around, the dent in the gas tank was actually from me. I was moving it around with my backhoe, I think, and I uh, smashed the tank, I think, that's how I did that. Um, and this left, Left tire is completely shot. If you try and put air in it, it doesn't it doesn't hold air at all. So, so for now, I just want to pull the mag off and see what the heck is going on here, and then we'll go from there. Uh, what I can do is I hate doing this kind of stuff, but I can I can swipe a carb off of something or. To see if I can put a carb on, even if the the needle leaks through in it, then uh, then I can do that, or I can build a carb for it if it runs halfway decent. Um, so without further ado, let me get the carb off, or the carb, yeah, the mag off, and we'll take a look inside of it and see what we got, and then we'll go from there because I really don't need any more machines to use but I like to have running machines not piles of junk I have 
one, two, three, uh, four of those, just right there. Because um, they don't have motors, motors are apart. Uh, now, ba basically, there's three machines that don't have top ends, and there's one machine missing the motor completely. So, get my running odds back up here. We'll, we'll monkey with this. So, back to you guys when I get it off. It might not even be tonight, maybe tomorrow. Some of you guys may laugh, but I am now remembering this mag very clearly now. This was the one the stop button was broke off on or grounded. And I put a wire on and just ran it to the outside so I could ground and kill it. I remember this very well now. It is very scary, but I do remember it. And this is an early Wyco mag. Actually, I didn't even change the wire there. I just did it there. Yeah, and look at... Are you guys going to be able to see... Apologize for my shaky hands, but see how messed up the lower contact is there? There's nothing left. And they're corroded, which is normal. So, nowadays, knowing what I know and having a parts magneto sitting right here, which is actually of the same vintage. I may be able to take two and put into one. Take the kill wire out of this and the stud, put it over there. Then I'm going to need the metal tab externally to kill it. Um, and what else am I going to need? The impulse was not tripping with it on the tractor. I'm not too worried about it firing, believe me. Yeah, the impulse is not tripping, so I'll probably have to take that apart. That might just be because there's a bunch of gunk inside of this, I don't remember. It's actually, it's kind of stiff to turn over, like there's something. There's a bunch of crap in the rotors. I actually heard the impulse moving there once. I heard the impulse actually caught, finally. I think there's just a bunch of corrosion and shit in here so what I'm gonna do is tomorrow tomorrow I'll take this apart and see what's going on so be it maybe part one part two fixing the stuff maybe I have another set of points this coil uh, as far as I remember was good it has a condenser on it I think if I change the points if I Sand the rust off of this shaft. Yeah, because that'll... That'll eat the plastic part of the points up pretty fast. And it'll blow all the crap out of here. As you can see there's a lot of corrosion on the... Uh, the nuts and bolts and the aluminum case in there. But uh, I think once I clean that stuff up and I put the stop button back on the side, that'll, that'll stop a lot of uh, condensation and moisture infiltration. Which, uh, as a lot of you guys know, play hell on mags. So, that's, uh, like I said, that's a wrap for the first night, guys. Catch everybody in the next part. Later.